previously on Neoplasticity. Greetings, loyal followers of the world of natural light. We have been given a word to spread our true faith out to all those who seek salvation. And you will do it forcefully if needed. They are. They're a little bit nuts. Yeah. I've been following them around for a while now. What is her deal? I... Well, she's preaching that, you know, they want to stay in this simplistic lifestyle. They don't want the lights turned back on, and they're willing to do whatever it takes to keep it that way. They're going to be a problem. They are. Yep. Looks like a trip to the outside is in order. The green zone set up on the corner of the 13th street. It's safe enough. But getting there will be a problem. Although I have uh, the maps uh, to the stream which run down to the canyon, to the park. There. Damn it. I finally got it to work and charged up my computer, yeah? <sighs> for five long months, I have waited here for something. For someone to, to come and possibly something that would happen between us to get me out of here. Since Dimitri disappeared and the others have abandoned the embassy, I have tried to stay calm and continue to gather information for my government. <laughs> my government probably had the same fate as all the rest of the world, of course. They are also like me, hiding in their bunkers, in their basements, in their homes or in their offices. But what can I do? I don't know. Ah, but we are Russians. We know how to survive. Even in the harshest conditions, we know how to do this. Yes. But survival is not one of my greatest gifts. I am just an attaché to my good friend Dimitri, who was the ambassador of the United States of America representing Russia. Dimitri just had to visit this godforsaken state of Colorado just because of what the Broncos, this American football, which I don't even understand. What is the purpose? He's, not, he's a Broncos fan and he wanted to see them play. That's why we're here in Colorado. Fortunately for us, we were here when, as the Americans say, the shit hits the fan. That was five months ago. Now Dmitri has taken it upon himself to seek out some professor he believes that can help us get back to the way we were. He hasn't come back and I fear the worst for myself, for Dmitri, for everybody. I don't know what's going to happen. <sighs> So I am now faced with the problem of no more supplies or water. This was my last bottle. I, I'm, I've been thirsty for this whole week. Now I'm out of supply. What am I going to do? I don't know. We'll see. I have stepped out on occasion and met a few people on their way to what they call the green zone. But Perhaps this is where Dimitri went. That's what I believe. And if so, I, I must go there too. I must be there as well. I don't have much to barter with. You know? And who knows? Maybe I can find someone that can help me too. You never know. Either way, I have to try, I have to try something. I can't sit here in this basement. I don't have any electricity, no air conditioning. I am so proud 
that my internet is starting to work, but I feel like it will disappear in a moment of seconds, I don't know. But I have to try. I can't survive here much longer. The explanation, tell me. Kelly, what do you do? By zombies. Are They're you still out there. on that about zombies? I mean, it really could have been a wild animal. Hungry. I don't think it was a wild animal. I'm telling you, there's zombies out there. I tried to tell Marty, and now I'm telling you, they're real and they're out there. Have you actually seen a zombie, though? Well, no, I haven't seen them, but I, I just know. You know how you just know what you know? Well, I don't know. All I know is I, we have to acknowledge the possibility of it. What would have actually caused the situation? I mean, there's a lot of background. Well, I still say the rate of Hi. Doc. Hi, Doc. Doc, Wendy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, now you're a doctor, a real doctor? Yeah. Okay, tell me, what do you think about all this possibility of zombies? Because oh, I say again with the zombies. Well, I say they're no. real. No. No. I mean, I, I don't know zombies are real. I don't. Really? No, you, I don't really. Wait you've really? never mm -hmm. experienced anything weird? Nope. Last week, though, there was this really weird guy that was chasing people around here. Yeah. It was like he was on drugs or something. And then they ended up shooting him. I, I would say, I mean, like, people are saying that he supposedly had, had been dead and came back alive, but I, I don't believe. I personally don't believe in zombies because that is against the science. I don't believe. Well, what about all this radiation? I mean, we don't know what the effects could be. I mean, maybe he really was dead and he came back to life. Why isn't that possible? Science. I go science. science. Well, science doesn't explain everything. I mean, that can't explain how somebody can come back we to life. We lost one of our friends and uh, she was torn up. Uh, they were saying that she got torn up by a wild dog, but... I say it's zombies. <laughs> I don't believe in zombies. Okay, look, I understand you're a doctor, maybe you just don't believe in these things, but all I can say is, I'm pretty sure they're real. I don't believe in zombies. You know, we were just about to meet our friend at this fire pit. Um, why don't you come along and tell him about what you have witnessed? Sure. Great idea, we can always use a doctor. Mm -hmm. oh, this way. Um, Look, you need to find Darwin here, all right, man? I'm tired of you just not finding him ever. What does he look like? I don't know, man. Nobody knows what he looks like. I'm just tired of you not finding him, all right? Look, just go find him. He's probably going buying electronic shit or something like that. Okay, okay, okay. Go! Anymore. What's wrong, son? Can't you see what I've done? It's in our dirt. It was meant to be. I, it's just a wonderful thing. A wonderful thing? You think this is a wonderful thing? It was meant to be. I, I mean, <clears throat> no, it was an accident. Well, I'm going to do something about it. I don't think it's a wonderful thing. What? What do you mean? It's already been done. To do. Well, I can, I can do a little, there's a little more that I can do that you don't know I can do. And I know someone that just might be willing to get his hands dirty again. Uh, who? What do you mean? It's already been done. <laughs> who? Someone? Who? Someone that's going to kick some ass. <laughs> If I can find it. If I find it. Doug wants us to find Darwin. Oh, I don't even know where to start looking. Really? He just says, go find him. I don't know how he looks. I don't know where to start. Oh. And I don't even know where the twins are at anyway. Whatever happened to them? Let's go find them. Good. Let's go. 
There will be a risk, but it's not impossible. Although the last time I was there, I did see a really mean swap move around. Couple of tough guys try and take the sword he has across his back from him. That's a really nice sword you got there. Just let me have a look at that. Yeah, Pops, it's a cool looking blade. How sharp is it? I don't let anybody touch it. Why not? Personal. 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 In that case, I want it. Look, man, we ain't here to buy anything, all right? When we approach. 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 Screw it. When we take it. Exactly. You got to take that sword. Not for sale. This old grumpy fool don't for know sale. who he's talking to, man. For sale! <laughs> well, I don't think you fully understand your situation right now. So let me say this clearly in a language anybody can understand. You don't need to do this. <laughs>